What's up guys, this is the Mexican and I'm back with another fresh food review for you today. Uh, today we've gone back to Up The Road Burgers. Um, last week, last time, I believe I did the carnivore, a um, meat, um, a beef based one. And I was going to get a chicken based one before I start. and I remembered when I started the sentence that I was going to get chicken, but I eventually went with a beef one. Um, the Caliente uh, Burger, um, it starts, it's originally with chicken, but they decided to just give you a beef option instead. And they do do good beef, as I recall. So I went with the beef option again and completely missed the whole point of doing the review in the first place. I should have gone with the chicken. And there was a point I went for the chicken, but um, you know, my hunger got the better of me, and I thought, oh yeah, let's get some beef. So um, yeah, we got we ended up with the um the beef caliente burger. Um got some chips with it too. Uh the two of them ran me up uh $17, I believe. Uh just shy of. Um this is the size of the chips, just so you know for reference. And um show you the uh, burger here. Yeah, there we go. Um, the Caliente burger is supposed to be a spicy one, so it's got um, beef in it, bacon by the looks of it. Didn't know it had bacon, actually. Um, and jalapenos is its claim to fame. Cheese and mayonnaise and lettuce by the looks of the other things. And red onion. Um, yeah, it looks quite good, actually. Um, so, again, look at that. that. That lettuce looks fresh as fuck. Big fan of that. So, um, yeah, might as well just fucking dig right in. Let's, let's just, you know, not beat around the bush. Let's just go for it. Yeah. Not too spicy. I suspect I didn't get any of the jalapenos though, so I'll try and try for jalapeno in this bite. A bit of a kick. Oh, I'll pay that. A little bit of a kick. Um the beef is quite nicely done again. Um, the bun seems a bit crusty, to be honest. Uh, the base of it, it's a bit, yeah. Yeah, they clearly toasted it, and I fear they may have over-toasted it, just a tad. Um, nice bit of sweetness to the bun, though. I didn't notice that last time. Um, yeah, all in all, reasonably good, actually. Um, take another bite, just to be sure, but yeah, we'll, we'll give it a wrap after that. Hmm. Yeah, nice, nice, decent amount of cheese on that as well. Um, the red onion gives it a bit of that tanginess, which is quite nice. And then, of course, you've got the kick from the jalapenos. Um, yeah, the beef is quite nicely cooked. The lettuce is really crisp. Big fan of that. Um, slightly overburned the uh, bread, though, like I said. Um, we'll give the chips a go again. See if the quality is just as good as it was before. And it appears to be... Mmm, those are damn fine chips, as I recall. I think they're just as good now. Um, yeah, like I said, just size schnitz chips last time. Pretty, pretty solid, which I, as um, regular viewers of this channel would know, I've, uh, as the upper echelon of uh, fries, they're just, they're just that good. Um, I need to do a review on them at some point, but um, for now, you're just going to have to accept that um, my review of that. Um, they kindly gave me some tomato ketchup as well, which I'll probably use, but all oh, for $17, not too bad, not too shabby. Um... I didn't get a drink with it, but I can only imagine that would jack it up like 50, 60 cents. It wouldn't have been that much. I assume it comes in some kind of combo deal. Um, yeah, so, uh, um, yeah, what I give it out of 10? Um, oh, probably 7 out of 10. Probably 7 out of 10. It just, it just feels like it's lacking something. Perhaps I should have gone with the chicken. Maybe chicken would have been the superior choice for this. Um, and, yeah, they, like I said, they over, they over, they, they over crisp the uh, bun. Um, and you know it's a mistake because the top side's not crispy as well. Only the bottom part is. So they, they, they made a mistake somewhere. Because if you're going to have a crispy bun, you do both sides. You know, so it's crispy on both sides. It's only crispy on the bottom. And it's really weird. Um, and I've never been a good fan of crispy buns. Anyway, you want the bread to be, like, soft and malleable. You know, so it's merely a casing for the, uh, a vehicle, if you will, for the meaty goodness inside. Um, so, yeah, 7 out of 10. Um, yeah, the beef is nice. The onion gives it a nice tang. There's a bit of a kick, but not too much that you can't handle it. Um... Still, if you don't like jalapenos, you're probably not going to enjoy this. Um, yeah, no, no, reasonably solid. Just could have, yeah, just, it just feels like it's lacking something along with the burningness. And the chips are fantastic once again as well. Um, but there you go, guys. Uh, this has been the Mexican. If you like the content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. If you want to watch the other Up the Road review, uh, go ahead and hit that button right there. 
Once again, guys, this is The Mexican signing off.